Hello, this is Nick from Pressman Auto coming at you live in the snow, first of the season. So <laughs> we're gonna be doing a video walkthrough of our 2024 Subaru Crosstrek Wilderness. So what I'm gonna do is we're gonna walk all the way around. We're gonna check for any dents, scratches, any kind of blemishes on the outside. Then we're gonna go inside, go over some of the features, make sure everything's working properly. And then we'll take it on a quick drive, just around here real quick. Probably won't go too far as I will be filming and it will be snowing. So, <laughs> but we'll still take it on a spin. And then lastly, we'll take a quick look under the hood, just, just for good measure. So first impressions are really freaking good. <laughs> Normally you'd expect to see a little bit of rock chipping up here in the front, just because that's usually where it is, but I'm not seeing anything. So I know it's snowy and it might be a little bit hard to tell some of the things here. Um, so if there is anything that I see, because I'll be able to see a little bit better, I'll be sure to stop, zoom in, make sure you get a good visual. But so far we're starting off with a clean 10 out of 10. Can't say I'm surprised because it is, you know, it's brand new, it's 2024, but nonetheless, still good to know. Tires are in immaculate condition, so that, that's awesome. Got all your badging and all the fun designs and stuff on here. I really like the accents on the Wilderness Edition. It just looks cool. So. You got all the Wilderness extra um, floor mats, weather techs, all the fun stuff, as well as the shade up here, which is always a pleasure to have. Crossbars up top. Well, honestly, as far as the exterior goes, dare I say, a clean 10 out of 10. So, again, I can't say I'm too surprised it's a 2024, but nonetheless, it's awesome. It's always good to hear. So let's hop inside and see what we can find in the interior. So uh, this one just barely arrived. Um, it hasn't even been through its cleaning process. It's just finishing its inspection right now. So this is about as raw as you're gonna get it. <laughs> I'm excited for you. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna turn the car on, obviously, but when I do, I'm gonna leave the camera up here on the dash. That way, if there's any kind of warning lights or anything weird popping up, you'll be the first to know. So let's check it out. All right, so we got two warning lights up right now. The first is my seatbelt light, uh, or the, my seatbelt light, and the second is the gas light, both of which are correct. So <laughs> everything's looking good. Parking brake's also on, so let's turn that off. Um, but yeah, so as far as features go in here, you have quite a few. So <laughs> I'm gonna go a little bit fast just for the sake of time. Um, but up here, you're gonna have your adaptive cruise control as well as your sport mode. You're gonna have your paddle shifters up here, which are a lot of fun. I like the paddle shifters. Um, up top, you're gonna have your sunroof, which is always a pleasure. So I will not be demonstrating it in this video for obvious reasons, so, but the sunroof works, rest assured. Um, up here is gonna be most of your driving features. You should have, in addition to your adaptive cruise control, you're also going to have your blind spot monitor, your pre-collision system, your lane departure warning. like it, pretty cool. I, <laughs> Subaru decks itself out in terms of safety features, X mode, um, auto vehicle hold, auto stop, stop start, like you got all the things. So down here, you're going to have your heated seats, which are really nice. So you can tell it has been cleaned yet. There's a little bit of dust in here, but no damages. So that's good. As far as the interior condition goes, it is extremely good. Um, I'm not seeing any dents, any tears, any stains, any discoloration. We got the wrapper from our sticker up top, but other than that, looking very, very solid. Extra room down in here, plugins up in here, wireless phone charger right here, as well as more plugins. Back seat is also in immaculate condition. So, good, good stuff in there. Let's. Wipers a little bit, clean that off. And we're gonna take it on just a quick spin around the parking lot, just real fast. So you're gonna have your backup camera, which is very helpful. <laughs> you also have that warning system, which is again, very helpful. <laughs> I don't like getting into accidents. So anything to help avoid that, 100%, I'm all for it. Let's turn off the AC real quick. There we go. Let's 
let's turn on the windshield wiper a little bit. There we go. So it is beeping at me because I currently do not have my seatbelt on. But for the purpose of the test drive, we're just gonna, it'll be fine. That's annoying. We're gonna turn my seatbelt on. There we go. Roads may be icy. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> I think I'm aware of that, but I appreciate the heads up. Yeah, I mean, it's handling great in the middle of the snow as well as kind of bumpy area. So it's basically what this thing is made for. The Wilderness Edition, you're gonna be able to take off-roading. If you take it in the snow, you totally can. I know you're a little far away. I don't know how much snow you guys get out there, but if it ever does snow, you have the X mode on here as well as one of the best all-wheel drive systems uh, there is. So <laughs> very, very solid stuff. Cool. Let's park it back where we were. And beautiful. Cool. So as far as the exterior or the interior goes, it's really, really nice. I mean, I give it a 10 out of 10 as well. I didn't see a single thing worth worrying about. So let's pop the hood. We'll check out a little bit in the engine bay and then that should be good for our video. Alright, so I don't know how mechanically inclined you are or aren't, but regardless of how much you know about cars, you should always look under the hood of any vehicle you're looking to buy. The reason being, even if you don't know anything about anything, you at least know what neglect looks like. So if you got like acid buildup all around the battery, which will look like green crud, um, if there's rust all over the metal pieces and spider webs all over everything, then you know, I'd, I'd probably ask some more questions at that point. <laughs> Um, that being said, this looks great. Again, this is as raw as it comes. It's got a little dust just from being shipped to us, but everything looks in very, very good repair. I'm not seeing rust on anything. So really, really good stuff under here. So if you are mechanically inclined, we can go into a little bit more detail, but we'll keep this video pretty user friendly for now. Suffice to say, when you pop the hood of an engine bay, this is exactly what you want to see. So if you have any more questions or there's anything I missed, just let me know. I'm happy to show you anything on here. But for now, this is your new Crosstrek.